Oh no! My new Nintendo Switch Lite, it barely had a chance at life, and now... Now look at it! Oh no, bros! Yeah, imagine that feeling, but for really real, and forever and ever. I don't want that, and neither do you, which is why I'm going to put a screen protector on this thing immediately. Just under a month ago, just before the launch of the Switch Mini, in fact, I reviewed the first Switch Mini bespoke accessories from Orsley, including some nice hard shell cases, and of course, their premium tempered glass screen protectors. I didn't have a Switch Mini to test them on, it was before launch after all, though the 3D printed dummy model Orsley sent was useful for testing the cases at least less useful for testing the screen protectors. Now though, as you can see, time for a follow-up, and to show you I wasn't BSing when I said I was absolutely applying one of these bad boys immediately. My new kindly donated Nintendo Switch Lite, hooray for that by the way, because the budget's a bit tight right now. It arrived less than 12 hours ago, I've charged it, I've downloaded some of my games to it overnight, and now it needs protecting before I actually start using it. Now, I've had one of Orsley's screen protectors on my launch day Nintendo Switch since not long after launch, and it's been perfect ever since. I've travelled and flown many times with it, often without any extra cases or anything, so my confidence is pretty damn high in this product. In the box, you get a little plastic chip for helping smooth out air bubbles on application, stickers for safely lifting dust up off the screen, alcohol wipes for cleaning any finger grease and whatnot, and preparation is really easy. You just use this stuff to clean that bugger real nice. Then you peel off the protective film from the screen side of one of the protectors and carefully pop it in place, smoothing slowly and evenly from one edge to the other to squeeze out any air you've managed to catch underneath on application. Application is not permanent either. Although it sticks in place very securely, it can easily be lifted off again if you ever need to. And it won't leave any residue or adhesive behind on your screen, so no worries about that. And of course, being actual tempered glass, it is quite tough. Certainly a lot tougher than the plastic Nintendo uses on the top layer of the screen. It is still glass, though, so it's not invincible. But the point is, it takes the damage, not the actual screen's top layer. So if you ever do scratch or crack it, chances are pretty high your Switch will still be fine underneath. You just replace the protector and keep on gaming. Maybe have a cup of tea to calm down a bit, because you will have a little mini heart attack when it first happens, and then you realise, oh yeah, I've got a screen protector on there, no worries. Now, as far as downsides go, well, I'd like to tell you some. I really would, so this video would feel like a deeper and more thoughtful review, but fact is, the product is solid. It's easy to use. And like I said, I've been using the Big Brother one of these on my launch day regular Switch since just after I got it, and I basically forget it's there. It has been perfect, actually. It hasn't slipped, it hasn't scratched, it's optically perfect so it doesn't hinder the image or distract in any way. You literally do forget it's on there. Which leaves me with no downsides. They give you everything you need in the box. They give you four screen protectors in the box, so even if you're really bad at applying them, you get multiple chances. And if you do manage to get a perfect first try, you've got three spares sitting there for crying out loud. I defy you to give me a legitimate downside to getting this product and using this product. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up and again, strongly, strongly remind and recommend any and every owner of a Nintendo Switch Lite to get a screen protector on there. These are like nine bucks for four of them. And it is a tiny investment in some peace of mind compared to the worst case scenario for going without one, don't you think? I'm not going to call you a catastrophic buffoon for ignoring my advice, but I'll certainly think it quite loudly. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time. Get a screen protector. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it.